Hey, what's going on crew? Welcome back to another video and thank you for joining. Today we're going to talk about all about the Blackberry Classic, also known as the Q20. It has a touchscreen, but it also does have a QWERTY keyboard developed by Blackberry. Now, this thing is really classic. It dates back to December 17th, 7, um, 2014, which was when it was unrevealed and um, it did run a BlackBerry 10 operating system. Um, but there is like an Android 4.4.3, I think, or 4.3, yeah, definitely underneath there because we can download APKs on here. I have all the, the Play Store and I have like Google services downloaded on here as well. I did, did um, dedicate a lot of videos. So if you look in the playlist of the BlackBerry videos that I did make, you will find different ways to download apps. Now we do have the BlackBerry 10.3.3 and um, this phone was very much like its um, predecessor, I mean, um, you know, the, the BlackBerry Bold which came out before it and um, this one was a little bit more advanced. Um, it had a Qualcomm Snapdragon S4 Plus which is unknown today but it was a 1.5 gigahertz dual core crate or crack, crack, uh, I think I pronounced that right. Also did run on a GPU, which is Adreno 225 with two gigabytes of RAM, 16 gigabytes of internal storage. And you could um, up the storage as well with the external um, with SD card slot. Um, in 2015, um, the, um, cl the classic actually, were, they weren't selling too much. And um, you know what I mean? Like they basically, reached a decline, you know, that they would cease production globally in 2016, which sucked. But um, a lot of people still definitely liked using it after after they stopped like producing apps. And, um, you know, this thing was generally known for the BBM services that Apple similarly offers in a different platform, but they did hold a lot of weight in the um, smartphone world. In the earlier times but this thing did feature some really good hardware we are getting a really nice physical keyboard along with a 3.5 inch ips lcd display with um you know this thing did can you could uh, expand the storage up to 256 gigabytes as you can see i'm running google maps on this thing which was not the battery was also a 2515 milliamp hour liam polymer actually a leon ion battery not a polymer which is nuts also you do get an 8 megapixel rear camera with led flash and i was able to install a ton of cool apps like instagram and um you know just a ton of different um apps which i use on androids all the time but they have the two megapixel front facing camera which is actually usable and um it definitely kind of surprised me basically in real time because I didn't think it would be usable because of the megapixel count, but never judge a camera by its megapixel count. Um, so the Classic is basically a really good device. You can see right here, I was taking some shots um, with it on the on the camera that it, and it was producing some pretty clear shots. Honestly, you know, they were definitely usable. Um, but honestly, I, I liked I, I was actually surprised how this thing took some, some decent shots in low light as well. And I did use the rear camera to actually take some front facing shots and some selfies. But this is actually the um, rear facing camera right here, which actually looks really good. Honestly, I would use that as a, a selfie camera. But um, honestly, I, I definitely like using this thing um day to day just because the physical keyboard is a lot different than a touch screen you when you that 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 feeling when you touch the keys and press them is just unlike any other thing that i can actually describe it's something that you only can really um relate to if you were early into the smartphone game before they actually got big right before the transition happened all the phones had physical keyboards and this keyboard was similar to the earlier phones of, of the time around 2000 and like, I would say like 
three is where like every phone had a keyboard on it and then they, tr they transitioned into the touchscreen. This phone actually had both, it had a touchscreen and it had a keyboard, which was crazy. And um, it's cool because it did have really good cameras and really good software as well to like go along with it. And um, just a nice user experience as well. If, if somehow we can like get a newer version of this experience, that would definitely be pretty cool. I mean, Android is probably the closest thing right now, but um, this thing is just like, honestly, um, it feels like it's in, a, in another world of its own. It, it's not like Android and it's not like um, Apple either. It's like its whole other, you know, like thing, its own other entity, which is kind of sick. Now, the thing that people actually were complaining about a lot was the lack of apps and um, like the phone's physical weight, I guess. I, I mean, like, honestly, this, this thing felt solid in my hand. I didn't have any issues with it whatsoever. But there are a lot of critics that, you know, like gave it a 3.5 out of 5 and like a 7 out of 10. But honestly, this thing is solid even till today, today's standards. Um, but honestly, I could say that, you know, like BlackBerry had a large list of devices as well, like that were just really sick. They, they had the Passport, they had a ton of other um phones released in 2013 as well the blackberry q5 the blackberry z3 um also the blackberry leap in 2015 which was nuts then they released the classic in 2014 and the passport in 2014 as well and then the q10 and earlier in 2013 but um they were just releasing devices left and right back then but then once apple and Samsung came about with like a heavy hitter um, lineup in the S series and Note series around, you know, the early, um, the, actually the teens years of the 2000s is when they, they blew them right out of the water with like their technology. And uh, people started to transition from like touchscreen, uh, from keyboard to touchscreen. And um, instead of using the physical keys, the idea was to expand the screen as much as possible and retain, um, you know, like the whole screen and everything like that. But like amongst all those phones that came out in 2014 and 13, the Passport stood out with its 14 time, 14 by 40 times 1440 um, display, which was nuts. But um, honestly, I can say that this thing is nuts as well with its trackpad on the on the on the front of it and the physical buttons right beneath right beneath the, um, the touchscreen is really dope. Um, it's actually pretty sick how the cameras are still usable as well and really really capturing some good um, quality too. Um, now this thing, you know, I'm not gonna front. It did have some lag here and there, but. Overall, it's just a really great experience. I actually use this as a second phone um, a lot. And just to be honest, I carry, I have like four, you know, you know, cards inside of phones every day. So I try to keep a BlackBerry device in that lineup, but this thing was definitely um, like a mid-range phone as well. It wasn't like a flagship or meant to be a flagship. It felt like a, you know, a mid-range phone, but, um, they actually considered the Classic to be a flagship around the time it was launched, along with the Passport, the Q10, the Z10, and the Z30. Those were like the flagships of, of, of the time. The um, a flagship device is, is basically um, the, the leading devices that a, a company is trying to like uh, set out to sell. Um, but they, you know, all the other devices use dual cores, uh, dual core processors. But these ones actually rocked some really, um, you know, decent uh, processors. So like, you know, they, they this one was actually featured in the, uh, the lineup, um, which was, was nuts. And um, then they came out with the wider Passport as well. But um, let me know how, what you thought about this thing. If you still like it, or if you're planning on getting it, just to, you know, add it to your lineup. Which was around, you know, I appreciate every last one of you. Make sure you guys stay locked in for more videos and uh, hit the bell icon if you kind of help me. But uh, make sure you hit the like button too. Leave a comment down below and I'll check you later.